roster of beloved characters beating the heck out of each other in frantic four-player brawls. Sound familiar? Yes, it's true, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up owes more than a little bit to the famed Super Smash Bros. series. The action is equally fast-paced, and the presentation is very similar, right down to the announcer's voice. Go! Yet there are a number of notable distinctions that set Smash Up apart. Combat is more straightforward, and the differences between the characters' moves are more subtle. This makes the characters feel more balanced, and the game is more accessible for it. However, Smash Up isn't as graphically sharp as its spiritual predecessor, and this can make the quick action tougher to follow. Also, the four-player battle mode is plagued by inconsistent victory conditions, so the last man standing in a last man standing match may not always be declared the winner. These rough edges keep Smash Up from making a legitimate bid for the Smash Brothers crown, but it's still an entertaining game in its own right. Most of the fighters are longtime TMNT standbys, though a few of the unlockable characters will be unfamiliar to lapsed fans. Taking you down. Though there are differences between the characters, the core moveset is fairly straightforward. You have a basic attack and a strong attack, the latter of which is slower, but has a bigger range and is more powerful. Using either of these attacks while pushing the analog stick in a given direction will activate a different move, so like in Smash Bros., you have a solid array of moves that are very easy to perform. Unlike in Smash Bros., none of the characters have gimmicky special moves. There are no lightning bolts, and nobody is swallowing anybody else. The moves are similar enough that you can choose any character and still have a reasonable degree of success, but they're also different enough that you'll definitely prefer certain characters over others. This makes Smash Up more accessible than Smash Bros., though the combat is less diverse. But just because there aren't crazy special moves doesn't mean the combat isn't engaging. Successful players will have to rely on maximizing their repertoire and positioning and blocking well. You can launch attacks from the walls and dodge strikes while jumping, making the air as much a part of the battlefield as the ground. There are also ninja power-ups that you can grab and use, including throwing knives, bombs, giant magical claw marks, and your own personal tornado shield. If you don't like the power-up that has appeared, you can hold the button to call up a pointer, which you can then use to change the power-up. In theory, this adds an interesting strategic wrinkle to the game, but in practice, it's tough to find a spare moment to point and shoot. The action is fast-paced and frantic, though you will encounter some rough patches, especially if you're accustomed to playing Smash Brothers. Most notably, when you are knocked down, you often stay on the ground unable to move just a bit longer than you'd like. Smash Up also gives you a split-second chance to break your opponent's hold when they're about to throw you, but the analog stick wiggling and the Wii Remote waggling required to do so is inconsistent. On the whole, the combat is fun and engaging, but there's nothing particularly exciting or unique about it. The arenas that you fight in do their part to try and spice up the action. Only two are static, enclosed areas. The rest feature hazards like bottomless pits, collapsing structures, or vicious monster crocodiles that can devour you in an instant. The train level forces you to keep up as your opponents uncouple the cars in front of you, while the cruise ship level takes a titanic turn for the worst. These arenas are varied and interesting, though they aren't exactly pretty. When the camera pulls out, it can be tough to judge distances, and the visuals aren't as clean and sharp as they should be. The only other graphical oddity is the auras that surround your character. These colored outlines make it easier to spot yourself on screen, but they can definitely be distracting. Fortunately, you can turn them off if you so choose. In addition to four-player battles, you can take on a series of solo fights in the arcade mode, which is a good way to unlock playable characters. There are some lackluster cutscenes to sit through or skip, and you'll play a few mini-games throughout your journey. These are reasonable diversions that allow you to earn shells, which you can then use to unlock bonus items. An amusing shooting gallery lets you shoot shells at targets to unlock figurine parts, and you can also spend your shells to build a trophy that you can then wager in online matches. Smash Up features smooth online play that lets you fight with friends or jump into a random match. There are also various ways to set up local tournaments for up to eight players, and a mission mode that presents a long list of different battle scenarios for you to complete. This all adds up to a lot of extra stuff to do, and a lot of it is fairly entertaining, though really, it's all about beating up your friends. Unfortunately, there's a bug in the Battle Royal mode that can mess with your matches. 
In a number of different match types, the victory conditions are not always consistent. In some last man standing matches, the last man standing may not always be the winner. Finish! Not to boast, but I was pretty awesome! And in a few knockout matches, the first of five knockouts was not actually declared the victor. This issue doesn't happen every time, but it happens enough that you'll notice it and be baffled at least, frustrated at worst. Despite this bug and the not-so-great visuals, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up is a fun, engaging brawler. The combat is solid and fast-paced, and though it's not exactly innovative, it's good enough to support some entertaining fights. If you're looking for a new source of Wii-powered beatdowns, Smash Up fits the bill.